Hello and welcome back to FWE episode 13 and we have a great match coming up guys we have Sinister Scotsman and Danny Mercury going one on one in a tables match so it's team 3 and team 4 going at it right now and coming out first in the ring, representing Team Free, he is Sinister Scotsman. Representing Team 4, he is Danny, the Legend Breaker, Mercury. And here we go guys, Sinister Scotsman and Danny Mercury. You might be wondering, why am I commentating? For some reason, I feel a little bit better today. My throat is still a little bit, you know, not exactly at 100%, but still, I'm able to at least commentate. So, we have Sinister Scotsman and Danny Mercury going one on one. And the scoreboards at the moment is I'm actually not even sure give me a second guys I'll just quickly pull out my computer and see Alright, uh, I'm not 100% sure, I might be incorrect, but the scores are at the moment. Team 1 and Team 2 are currently on 19 points, and Team 3 are on 18 points. So, it is of course close for all three teams. So we have Team 3, let's go on about it a little bit. Um, team 3, I'm Sinister Scotsman representing them, and Danny Mercury is just fighting for just... I would say himself now, just to show that he isn't to joke with. It doesn't matter about you're in teams or not. He still needs to show off that he is a greater superstar than the Sinister Scotsman. And show that he's probably the best man in his team and he deserves to win. That's what probably Mainstream needs to do in his match next as well. But it's all about proving points. So we have Team 3 and Team 2. The only way I think Team... Um, one will be able to win is if Danny Mercury and Mainstream win these matches and at least they will be on a tie with Team 2 then next week somehow the winner will be found out somehow I will find out <laughs> I'll, I'll figure out some kind of way to do it a good drop kick there by Sinister Scotsman I'll find a way to do it so that's the only way Team 1 is going to be able to keep up 
in the tournament is to be able to at least have that um that what's the word that little lifeline of having a draw at least to keep them in it still but you still have two team two they're they're in the main event and they have a quite their top guy at the moment chris lord is competing for him so chris lord is in a very very high pressure state because if team three win this and they lose their main event match that means team three are going to be going to the main event at coc tournament and what is this sinister scotsman that beautiful move there by the sinister scotsman i should call that the sinister drop of death or something that hurts a lot but anyways it looks like sinister scotsman bringing in another table you can see that table just lying there and now it's outside they go danny mercury sinister scotsman with a headlock throws danny mercury and this is such a tight match, as I, I just explained why this match is so, so huge. This match and next match will be absolutely massive, because if Team 3 win this match, again, Team 2 have two opportunities. So, if Team 2, um, if, wait, if Team 4 lose this, that means Team 2, of course, is still in it. But if Team 3 win this, that means Team 3 is in the lead, but... They'll have to trust on mainstream to actually lose, I mean, actually win the match so they can um, secure their position into the spot in the COC tournament match at Clash of the Champions, which is actually, if anyone knows, WW, um, WWE 12 actually has a um, arena called Clash of the Champions, and that is probably um, the old WCW um the old WCW pay-per-view. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was a pay-per-view. The old pay-per-view arena, so I'll be using that for the uh, pay-per-view. And yeah, that sort of secures... Oh well, that pretty much says that I'm going to be using that arena for uh, Clash of the Champions tournament. Not any of the WWE, so I'm going to go old school, sort of. It's going to look quite oldish, but who cares? It looked pretty awesome. So far, no one has had a good moment to actually strike their opponent for a table just yet, but I can still still. Work. Sorry about that little silence. I'm just quickly reading a message someone sent me just then. And. Danny Mercury on the back, and Danny Mercury on the other hand, he needs to win this match. He hasn't been on much of a... Oh, here we go. Come back here for Danny Mercury. Table's in the way, I can't see anything. What's going on? I think he, um... Get that little sidewalk slam. Oh, super kick to the face. Oh, lordy lordy. Sinister Scotsman will not be in a good position if this happens. And it's the F5. Good God, what devastation there by Danny Mercury. And throwing the arm across the ground. Getting it on the back elbow. Punch to the face. And oh lord, not again. Here we go. The Zillus just got to a drop. The death drop of the deafness. Drop the deaths people, kills people in instance. He actually, um, we're actually talking about that, um, me and Connor. I think that's how you say it. Or Connor, or Connor, or Connor. Connor, Connor. Terminator. Connor. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the actual the drop. I, what was it called again? Like a Canadian something. Something about a Canadian death drop of deafness. Because <laughs> it's basically that. It's like a video of this guy slamming head first and doing like a front flip. It looked mental. Like he. He pretty much looked like he he died, but he sold that pretty well, and I think he's still alive from this day. And he has he lives the legend of the guy who took that dreadful move, and nearly caused him to die, breaking his neck and all of his spine, all that crap. Still, that the table set up in the corner. And someone can just simply throw him into the corner. It could be anyone. It's just so. It's just so luck right at the moment. 
and Danny Mercury, what's he looking for here? Just comes back into the ring. And Sinister Scotsman kicking Danny Mercury out. As I updated people before saying that um, I actually had a cold. It was causing me to have major throat issues at one point. <laughs> I was pretty much, I couldn't talk good. Uh, well, I don't even know what that's called. Oh god, Sinister Scotsman! Sinister Scotsman wins! Are you kidding me? Sinister Scotsman is the winner! There you have it! There you have it! Sinister Scotsman is the winner! Bad luck, Danny Mercury! Team 3 are in the lead! With the spear to the table! Good god! Oh, there we have it, guys. Sinister Scotsman is now leading for his team, and they are now on 22, wait, no, 21 points, followed by Team team 1 and Team 2, and I think Team 2, it's sad now, I mean, not Team 2, Team 1, team one I think it's sadly not going to happen, and it's very bad luck for Team 1, but Team 2, they need to win this next match. It's Chris Lord vs. Mainstream in a hell and a cell. It is the main event. Whoever wins, oh god, it's next.